So you're trying to stop a gigantic walking death machine, and all you have to do is remove a blanket-like thing from something that looks mysteriously like the Ark of the Covenant from Raiders of the Lost Ark. But when you're up there and you've got the blanket right next to you, what do you do? You decide, oh, I'm just gonna have a couple of words with my brother just to cheer us all up while we sit there and wait for the death machine to destroy everybody. What I really have trouble with are the incredibly simple conveniences of the whole movie. In this Percy Jackson sequel, our heroes, uh, Harry, Hermione, and Ron, Sorry, Percy and company end up lost in the middle of Washington, D.C. with no idea where to go. But conveniently, there just happens to be a UPS store right there, which happens to have the one person who happens to know where everybody is and happens to happen to have all the things that they need to get to their final destination. But the fact is, this movie so desperately wants to be Harry Potter, it's not even funny. Except for a wand, he's got a sword, which opens up quite mysteriously like a lightsaber. So because it's made for the tween crowd, does that mean we can just forgive these movies for being moronic? Sometimes I suppose it does, like here, because after all, it is a fun adventure movie. If, you know, you're on Team Tween.